A common question that I get asked is, why are my anchor links not working right? When you have a sticky menu, sometimes things get a little wonky when it comes to anchor links. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to accommodate for a sticky menu when you have anchor links on your page. I designed this restaurant menu page to have some links at the top that anchor to different sections of the page. If I click on lunch, it goes down to lunch. But as you can see, the heading lunch gets hidden by that menu. Same thing happens if I click dinner, Sunday brunch, and so on. So how do we fix this? What we have to do is accommodate for the height of this sticky menu. Because in reality, everything is working as it should. The sticky menu always sticks to the top. And anchor links, when you anchor them to certain sections of the page, will go down to that anchor. The problem is with a sticky menu at the top, it has a Z index that goes above everything else on the page. So it's kind of like putting a layer on top of all the content. So when you have an anchor link and a sticky menu, this is always going to go over top of the anchor link. So what we need to do is actually visually trick the system to accommodate for this height. I'm going to open up this page in Elementor and show you how we can do that. There are a few different ways. First, let's take a look at this widget that I have here. I used an icon list widget to create this menu. And if we click on lunch, you can see that we have our link going to the anchor lunch. Same for dinner, same for Sunday brunch, and same for cocktails. Now if I click on these headings and go to the advanced tab under the CSS ID, I have lunch. If I go down to dinner, go to advanced, the CSS ID is dinner, and so on. That's how we create anchor links using CSS ID. There is also an anchor widget in Elementor if you want to use that, you could drag that over onto the page and add the title there. For this page, this might be a good option, but you can also add other widgets or link to different areas of the page. It really all depends on your layout. Now that I've added this anchor link widget and I deed it dinner, what I have to do next is remove the anchor ID for this heading. So I'm just gonna go back to advanced and just remove that. Then I'll go and hit publish and we can view the page and see what happens now. Let's click on dinner. And you can see that we still need to make a few adjustments. In general, I don't really like to use the menu anchor widget because I think you have more control using other widgets, especially when it comes to adjusting the height. So I'm actually going to remove this anchor widget and put in a spacer widget instead. So I'm gonna drag that over. And you can see here under content, we have the option to adjust the height. By default, it's at 50 pixels, which I think will work okay to accommodate for this height of the menu but if we need to adjust it we easily can so i'm just going to go to advanced on this put dinner as the id and we'll just double check to make sure that that's removed from the heading then we'll hit publish now let's refresh the page and if we click dinner now it lines up great so I'm going to repeat that process for all of the other anchor links. I added spacers to the page for the rest of the anchor links and let's see how it looks now. We click on lunch. It goes to lunch without covering that heading. Sunday brunch, it does the same thing. And the last link is cocktails and we're good. How you add your anchor links when you have a sticky menu will really depend on the layout of your page. This is a pretty simple page layout. So adding a spacer widget 
and putting the ID there really did help accommodate for the sticky menu height. But in some cases, you might have to add the ID to whatever content you have above your heading or above wherever it is you want to anchor. Sometimes that's a widget or a button or something else. You really just need to play around with it in order to get it to work. But at the end of the day, you just need to make sure that you're accommodating for the height of your sticky menu in order to get it to link properly. That's it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. It's a question that I get asked pretty often, so I thought it would be a great topic for a quick video. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out our other Elementor tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.